so today I have a book outlet box to share with you all. I think I've got like nine books in here, so let's go ahead and get started. So if you all are not familiar with book outlet, um, where have you been? I think a lot of different booktubers use book outlet at this point. It is a great website to get pretty new books for relatively inexpensive. Um, I think the most I've ever spent on a book from Book Outlet is $9. So, I mean, well under what you would have paid for full price. I absolutely love the selection that they have. It's great. Many of different genres, new releases. They sometimes have sales going on. It's actually pretty frequent. And I bought this a box under the spring sale where everything was 15% off. And the first book that I wanted to show you all is Cross Her Heart by Sarah Pinborough. Now I have heard a bunch of people talk about this and they didn't really love it, but considering I loved Behind Her Eyes so much, I definitely wanted to pick up another Sarah Pinborough. This is about a girl that her and her mom don't really get along or something and she starts finding out these secrets about her mom and her mom starts finding out secrets about her and I, I get the feeling that it's just going to be very tense and very like mystery driven and I'm all about that. I really do think that this is going to be a great addition to my collection and I really hope I love it. The next book is The Passengers by John Mars. I heard about this book from a Books and La La video I think. Um, she's pretty much the booktuber I watch consistently for book reviews and book recommendations because apparently I have a really similar taste to her. But anyway, <laughs> this is about self-driving cars in the future and it, they've become trusted, they've become like a household thing, and then all of a sudden eight people find themselves locked and trapped in their cars and it's getting broadcast to like everyone on earth okay, which of these people should live, which of these people should die. I'm really interested to see like what exactly this is, like sci-fi thriller, I guess, but this sounds really intense and I'm really hoping that I love it. Um, also, the cover's really cool and like mysterious looking. The yellow with the navy is just so smart. See like this is the perfect example of the cover matching the dust jacket like that's beautiful and perfect and so simple but it's really smart so definitely a big a plus i am really excited to get into this one as well and then much to the confusion of myself when i looked over my packing list i also bought the passenger by lisa lutz i've heard that this is really good and it's about this woman who I think at the very beginning of the book like kills her husband or like pushes him down the stairs or something and she has to assume an identity and like crisscross across the country trying to hide from her murder <laughs> or crime or whatever you want to call it and she meets some other characters who are not quite who they seem to be but ultimately she does have to go back home to face like her deepest darkest fear and her deepest darkest secret. I'm really excited about this but as you can imagine having one book called The Passengers and one book called The Passenger was super confusing when I was ordering these. <laughs> these two books are part of a series and the only reason I bought the first one is because the second one looked really good and this is Solace Island and Cliff's Edge by Meg Tilly. I really wanted this one, but I saw that it was the second book in a series, so I bought the first one as well. These kind of sound more like romancy thrillers, which I mean, I'm not opposed to, but that's not quite what I thought they were when I wanted to order this one. But it is about a girl named Maggie Harris, and kind of unusual, weird things start happening to her. And then I think the second one's about her sister. Yeah, but anyway. I'm excited. I think these are going to be pretty like classic-y type romance thrillers and I'm kind of here for it. This next one I don't honestly remember adding to my order, but it's Dead Girl Society by Michelle Kreese. Chris. So I don't know what this is. <laughs> so let's find out together. You're cordially invited to participate in a game of thrills and dares. Tell no one and come alone if you dare. That's all I want to know. <laughs> I don't want to know anything else. Uh, 
this sounds good decent I guess I don't really know um again I don't remember putting this in my order I'm sure I saw the cover and was like that looks cool and just clicked it and didn't even think about it but hopefully I like this the next two are kind of like survival thrillers from the same author and that is The Lifeboat Click and Notes from My Captivity both by Kathy Parks I've seen Books and Lala, I think, read this or at least haul it. I had never heard of this one before. Also, I hate the fact that one's a hardback and one's a paperback. I know that's like a total first world problems and I'm just being really picky, but this is like my least favorite thing. <laughs> um, so this one is about Adrian Cal Cahill, Calhill, Cahill, I don't know cares about three things, getting into a great college, becoming a reverend, a revered reverend, a revered journalist like her idol, Sydney DeClay, and making her late proud, her late father proud. I swear I can read guys. Her late proud, her late father proud of her. So when Adrian is offered the chance to write an article that could get her into her dream school and debunk her foolishly optimistic stepfather's claim, no belief that a legendary family of hermits is living in the Siberian wilderness, there's no question that she'll go to fly across the world. <laughs> okay. So I think she ends up getting like kidnapped by the hermits. I would guess that that's what this is. I also think that this is a little humorous. Um, and I think this one is as well. This one is about some people who are like stranded in the middle of the ocean. Uh, so some people might say that Denver has a death wish. Why else would she dare to sneak into a Malibu beach party where she'd be surrounded by enemies? So <laughs> I hope that these are good. I picked them up just on a total whim because these covers are amazing and I hope I end up liking them. And then this last one is kind of the like peace day resistance of this box. And that is A Nearly Normal Family by M.T. Edvardson, maybe. This is about a girl that she is the suspect in the murder trial of a man who is like 15 years older than her. And her father, who's a pastor, and her mom, who's a criminal defense attorney, both of them kind of lose their moral compasses trying to save their daughter and defend her while also trying to figure out why on earth she would even be the suspect in the first place. So I'm really excited about this one. I have heard literally nothing but good things and everybody that I've heard good things from are like really reputable sources like Crime by the Book is one of them and I love watching her like Instagram stories and reviews about all the books that she reads because I know she reads some good stuff. So I'm really, really excited about this one. So yeah, those were the nine books that I got in this book outlet order. Tell me down below if you all have ordered from book outlet before and what your favorite purchase from them has been. I would have to think about that. Um, I will have mine down in the comments. So definitely chat with me down below. I love to talk to you all. And if you want pretty nails like mine, my Color Street link is down below. That is how I fund this channel and it fuels my reading addiction. Please do not forget to like, comment, and subscribe, and I will see you all next time. <laughs>